Look at how badly everybody is driving. These are the worst drivers I have ever seen. What in the world is going on? Find out in this video. Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today I'm going to show you something really stupid you can do with the AI. So the first thing we need to do is we just need to spawn up some normal traffic. Then we're going to go back to the normal AI menu and we're going to put them to flee. So what this does is it makes it where the AI is always spawning ahead of you, but they're always driving like the world's worst drivers ever. I would honestly say this is the best way to drive around any map because it's so amusing how stupid the AI is when you do this. Because what ends up happening is they all try to get away from you. So the cars that are in front of you, they drive ridiculously fast. Which makes sense because obviously that's the best way to get away from somebody who's behind you. The cars that are coming the other direction, they also end up driving ridiculously fast which makes no sense at all. So what you end up getting is a bunch of cars that can't stay in their lane and are all over the place. Like this dude's trying to overtake the other car in the middle of a corner, crashing into him in the process. And how in the world did the guy in the Pessima overtake the sunburst? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, we got a pileup, squeeze through. Oh. <laughs> that kind of actually worked. And I don't think there was a better solution to that because if I tried to slow down, I would have just slammed into them. I had to squeeze through before the gap closed. And the pickup truck is really great for this because it's not that much faster than their cars, but it's got some strength so we can plow through them if necessary. But not right now. Y'all need to not crash into me. <laughs> There's just a pile of cars back there. And I'm not even paying attention to what I'm driving, so I just got stuck on some rocks like a dummy. So why don't we try out a different car to get a different experience? So now we're going to get a really fast car that's pretty fragile. So we're going to go with the Vavas S410Q Arsenic, whose name is too dang long. So now instead of just being able to plow through them when they're in the way, we actually have to do evasive maneuvers. Like this guy who's literally driving right in the middle of the road. And for just a few seconds, we have clear roads so we can actually drive fast. And then here's some traffic. Look at the swerving on this dude! Oh, that's why he was swerving. There was a crash ahead of him. Fair enough, AI. You were actually doing something reasonable in that situation, and I was dissing you. I apologize. Although, in reality, is always trying to drive around the crash really the smart thing to do? Says man who's always trying to drive around the crash anyways. It's not the smart thing to do, but it's the fun thing to do. And Jungle Rock Island is definitely the most chaotic choice of a map you can have because you have so many blind corners and cars that jump out of the road like that. Wow. They actually managed to pretty much immobilize my car with that one small impact. AI, that was just straight up impressive. Although, your goal is to flee, not destroy me. Man, I really feel like I'm driving in the dirt half of the time just to avoid the cars. Like we're going three wide on a road that's tight with two cars. Oh, and up here, look at this. We're gonna go four wide, basically. I'm completely in the dirt as I overtake them here. And we got so many idiots just crashing in the middle of the road. See, just cars after cars. And you have to go all over the place just to not get hit. Oh, well, you can't go in the dirt like that because there was either a rock or a part of a tree just hidden in the bushes. Thankfully, we still have some driving capabilities, so we'll keep on going. But I really do mean only some driving capabilities. Basically, I have no steering and I must drive. Why do I have a feeling nobody's going to know what that's a reference to? If you know what that's a reference to, or if you think you know what that's a reference to at least, leave a comment. I'm curious how many people know why I said that. And ever since I lost steering, this has gone terribly because I'm just basically crashing into everybody until eventually my car's just gonna give up because it can't take it no more. It almost has at this point. We are just barely moving still. And oh no, there's nothing I can do. We're just gonna slam right into those trees. Well, here's a look at the damage before we slam into those trees. And we'll get a fresh car and drive it around a little bit more like this because this ended up being even more fun than the D series because now instead of being lazy and just plowing through traffic we're going much faster and I have to be even more on it as I drive through here and oh my goodness there were just cars everywhere there it's honestly a miracle I found a way through okay what are you doing 
<laughs> he spun him around. He said, get out my way and follow me. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't fall off. Woo. The good news is, is I didn't fall off of the cliff. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. Bad news is, is we are stuck. So we'll get ourselves off of the edge of the cliff. And then how about we switch up cars a little bit. So we're going to go with an Abishu Pigeon. So that way I can really swerve in between traffic. Oh, no. <laughs> what the heck was that? I didn't even have a chance to react and they ruined my car. Anyways, as I was saying, this should be good because we can swerve in between traffic. And at the same time, we really can't do any evasive maneuvers because if I try to be too evasive, it'll just tip over. Oh, look at that. See, that's pigeon maneuverability. We are making use of it right off of the back because the AI basically set up roadblocks everywhere for some reason. And this idea, plus the update to the map, this is easily the most fun I have ever had at Jungle Rock Island. Oh, look at that dude in the van. He just drove right off of the road. He completely lost control. What are you doing? Wow. What was that? The thing that sucks is I knew I couldn't do an evasive maneuver because if I tried to do that, I would probably just end up tipping over. And here I am doing evasive maneuvers anyways. Well, at least we didn't tip over. Never mind. I shouldn't have said that. What I meant to say is at least we landed back on our wheels and we can continue driving. And here's another use of the pigeons, small size, easily going through the blockades they are setting up one after the other. What are you guys doing around these corners? The funny thing is, is most of the time I don't see them crash. I just come around a corner and there's like a six car pile up and it's like, what the heck just happened? Whoa, starting to tip again. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. They were pulling me along as I tried to drive, so I couldn't slow down. Hey, you know what? This gives me an idea. I see that dirt there, and I'm thinking, what would happen if we tried this on a dirt road? So we're gonna go ahead and get an off-road vehicle. How about the off-road version of the hopper? That's very off-roady, because it even says off-road in its name. And then, well, this isn't even really a dirt road, so I don't know why I'm trying to drive from here. Why don't we take the easy solution? And we're just going to go ahead and go into the sky, find a nice close dirt road. And oh, look at this. This is a good dirt road. So I'll teleport it here, reset it so the suspension is not ruined from jumping it into the air. And now we're going to see what happens when we have the traffic running away from me on a dirt road. I'm thinking this might even find a way to be more chaotic than before because the dirt road is bumpier and thinner, which just means the AI are going to be even more out of control. And I'm pretty sure that truck just plowed right through the pest mine. He didn't even slow down, it seems like. He is absolutely booking it through this off-road section. He's going to crash or something, isn't he? Oh, he's getting slowed down because he has traffic in his way, but he's just shoving it out of the way. Nobody can stop this H-Series. All you can do is try to run from him, or in my case, chase him and see what he does. Although it seems like he's not going quite as fast anymore. He might have got damaged by plowing people out of his way. Whoops, I just bumped into him a little bit. And there he is, plowing people out of his way again. <laughs> There's just a big old pileup right in that intersection. We're going to keep going, ignoring the intersection because I want to focus on the dirt roads, not the paved roads right now. And on the dirt road, we have a few cars ahead of me who are actually doing a surprising job it seems like on the dirt roads we don't as often have traffic coming in the wrong direction but they do spin out sometimes that guy spun out and i'm trying to pass while the car in front of me is almost spinning that was risky maybe i should be just a little bit more careful with the way i drive ha <laughs> i got you we're still gonna drive reckless you can never stop me from doing that yeah <laughs> okay okay that was too reckless. I intentionally went out of my way to do something dumb, and it's really a miracle that I was able to keep driving. Oh, no! <laughs> I was all slowing down because I'm like, there's no way to get through there. The AI behind me says, nope, you're speeding back up, and they just slammed right into me. We can keep driving a bit, but it's definitely pulling to the side, which is not the kind of driving you want while you're driving through here, doing evasive maneuvers, trying to avoid the AI. It's only a matter of time before I completely wreck this thing. Oh, well, there we go. That's basically completely wrecked it. The handling is just too messed up. So you know what we should do? We should try out this same idea, but on a different map so we can get a different kind of roads. So let's head over to West Coast USA. Okay, everything has been set up with one big difference. 
That is my vehicle. I am driving a big, fat T-Series. So we're really getting a wide variety of things here. Now I'm a big, slow vehicle, and they should just be able to avoid me, and I shouldn't have to do much, I say, literally right as I'm crashed into. As a T-Series driver, there was very little I could have done to avoid that. This I can avoid, though. Swerving through the traffic, that was nice and easy. We got to go through a tight corner with cars all over the place. But I am making it clean, and all those cars are going way too fast. That T-Series is going too fast. Everybody's just piling up into that corner. Oh, man. Yeah, it doesn't matter what roads you're driving on. It could be thin roads on Jungle Rock Island or big, wide-open roads at West Coast, USA. No matter what, you're going to be entertained. Although, sometimes that'll happen where apparently their car has really gotten stuck inside my wheel and I can't drive just because of that. I shouldn't be slowed down by a tiny car like that in my giant T-Series. That is unacceptable. Well, where are you going, Covet? What? <laughs> the Covet looked like he was trying to commit some sort of insurance fraud where he cuts me off and slams on his brakes and I crash into him. I seriously have no idea what an AI car is going to do ever. Like that T-Series, he's going to crash a car, so I'm going to help him crash that car because we're T-Series buddies. There must be a reason he does that. But you really wouldn't think just put in their mode to flee would cause this much chaos. You wouldn't expect them to always be driving on the wrong side of the road for no good reason, smashing into each other, just trying to get away from me, slamming on their brakes when they're directly ahead of me. None of that would be expected. But that's what the AI is doing. And now we're really moving. We're going 70 miles per hour. Well, we were. And now we're losing speed because we clipped that guy the smallest amount. Literally all it did was get the very outer part of my tire and popped it. That sucks. You know what we need to do? Whoa. Well, that's not all I expected. What I was going to say is we need to get a faster car. So how about we go with something real fun like the Demon version of the 200BX. And this one should be really good because I can barely control this thing most of the time. And what did that COVID do? He's just sitting there wrecked and I don't even know how that happened. Maybe he hit one of the T-Series around here? That's my only guess. And that guy looked like he was trying to hit me. And that little maneuver of his really made me lose control for like the next 10 seconds. That's the fun thing about the demon, is it's so easy for you to get sideways. And once you do, it can be kind of hard to get back going in a straight line. But we managed, and now we got some speed on me. Going 120-ish miles per hour. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. I freaked out, and that small maneuver of theirs made me almost crash my car completely. Although, you know what I want to do? I want to see what it looks like from the inside with the hood like that. <laughs> I, I can't see a thing. I am now driving just as good as the AI officially, probably. And I think I might be flying in the air. And I think I might be upside down. I really don't know what's happening. Pretty sure I'm upside down, though. Wait, maybe I'm not? No, I'm upside down, I think. Yep, we're upside down. We are upside down. And we'll take a quick look at the damage here. Unfortunately, the car no longer drives. And now we'll go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> that came out of absolutely nowhere. Wow, okay. Anyways, as I was trying to do, we'll reset my car and then drive before I get hit. Drive before I get hit. I could not drive before I get hit. Problem with this car is it just is not a really fast car out of a dig because it has to have the turbo spool up and it's not good at putting down the power. So you have to be really careful with that initial acceleration and it's gonna be slow. It would have been faster if we could have revved it up and got the turbo spooling, but I didn't have time to do something like that. Oh, and now we're doing it. We are swerving through traffic at really high speeds, going 140 miles per hour. But we got to slow down through this tunnel because the tunnel is curved, and there's no way I could go 140 miles per hour through this curve, especially when we got squeezed in between traffic. That big rig almost took me out. That big rig's going to take that guy out. We just got to get some clearance. There's road over here. Clear as day. I like it but it feels a little cheat. So we gotta go back to the other side once I see the opening, perfect. Oh, this is not actually an opening. I had nowhere to go. And the AI is like, hey, we gotta run away. I'm gonna smash into him or something because I'm an AI and I have no idea what's going on. So how about we change up the car again to something even faster, drag version of the Burnside Special. 
And that's pretty fast. We should be able to go 200 miles per hour through traffic now. And I'm assuming we're just going to crash even faster than before. Especially considering swerving through traffic is even more difficult than it was initially. And wow, that dude looked like he was trying to take me out like that big rig took out the other big rig directly ahead of me. Oh, that sucks. This thing is pulling to the side bad. You wouldn't think it would for how small of an impact that was, but I could definitely feel it. And when you have a car like this, it makes it a lot more noticeable because the steering already kind of sucks. And oh, yeah. There is no way I'm going to remain in control of this thing. We must embrace the collisions. Ooh. Well, we didn't get collided there. I thought the bigger would smash into me. All right, fine. I'll smash into whatever I can with this awful steering. There's like no steering here. This is I have no steering and I must drive all over again. But it was much shorter this time because we've already ruined the car. And yeah, sure. Y'all just go and slam into each other. I don't care what you guys do. But I want to try to drive this thing with it actually going in a straight line, not pulling annoyingly to the side. So now we can actually see what it's like when we try to swerve through the worst drivers in the world using a car that should be traveling close to 200 miles per hour. Here's a hint. It's probably going to be really bad. And I think it'll be even more chaotic if we take the tunnel up ahead because I don't have the option to go on the other side of the road. I have just the two lanes in the tunnel and then maybe a tiny bit of road that we can squeeze through if absolutely necessary, like right here. Squeeze and bump in the wall just a bit, but we made it through and it seems like it's mostly driving straight and squeezing again. Oh, who am I kidding? We aren't squeezing. We're just shoving them out of the way and pushing. <laughs> That's all we're doing. That ain't no squeeze. That was actually a little bit of a squeeze because we were like four wide right there. Now we finally get to open up the engine and go fast. 150 miles per hour going way on the outside, sliding a bit. We are remaining in control though. Whoa, tight fit. Whoa, did you see that? We made the smallest contact with that T-Series because I saw the car shift just a bit, but it didn't seem to really affect me. And it's no fun when I'm going in a straight line. We could easily do that forever, but this is where the fun is at, where we swerve in between traffic, sliding all over the place for as long as we can, which wasn't that long which is to be expected because we were going 200 miles per hour through traffic. You're just asking for a crash in that situation. The surprising thing is though, even after that crash, it's still driving. Not very well, but it's driving. So we're gonna keep crashing until it won't drive no more, which is probably gonna be right now. Yeah, both the front axles are broken, so it is done. Honestly, the Burnside Special did really, really well. That was an absolutely beautiful run. But now it's time for yet another new vehicle. And we're going to go with the one you always got to drive at least once when you're messing with traffic. T-75 Destroyer Europe. Now this puts me in a bit of a conundrum though. Because I could still try to drive and avoid the traffic. And that would be fun. Or we could try to drive and smash into the traffic because that's also fun. It's really a win-win situation. That's the good thing. No matter what I do, it'll be fun. So we'll probably do a little bit of both. Like right now, we're pushing this guy out the way, even though I didn't mean to. He kind of just swerved into me as I was trying to avoid the other lane of traffic. And we got a pile of cars up there. Mm, you know what you do when you see a pile of cars, right? You go right into it, although the pile of cars kind of dispersed by the time I got there. I thought it was going to be a nice, juicy pile up to plow through. Luckily, I'm sure we'll find another big, fat pile of cars somewhere in the city area because you have all this traffic coming from different directions. So the intersections are the perfect place to find a pile up. And already we're seeing small collisions. So it's only a matter of time before the collision happens right in front of me and I can plow right through them. Ooh, that T-Series tried to take me out a bit, but here we go, here we go. Boom! <laughs> we absolutely shoved that pickle out of the way. And that'd be something fun to do, actually. You make all the cars that the AI drives pickles and pigeons, and then you can really just plow through them with the T-Series like this, I bet. Oh, we have a little pile up here, don't we? Yeah, three four-ish cars and we easily just shove them out of the way and continue along oh what are you gonna do you're just gonna drive right into me good job and i have no idea when it happened but my right mud flap apparently fell off <laughs> i just now noticed that and i'm so distracted by the mud flap i'm not paying attention to where i'm driving oh my goodness the code that took me out he got like under the trailer and lifted up my wheels so i can't get good traction wow nope that's not it. He's not into my trailer anymore. I still got no traction. Okay, then. Well, we'll just reset it. 
And it actually resets us way back here, which is a good thing because now we get to go to a completely different type of area. Instead of being in the city, we can go over to the suburbs area on the right. The amazing thing about driving with the AI like this is if I did that dumb thing where I put a clip at the start of the video, I could pick pretty much any 10 second window and it would work fine as long as I said something like, look at how badly everybody is driving. These are the worst drivers I have ever seen. What in the world is going on? Find out in this video. And the funny thing is, is if I used that, you would find out why they're doing that immediately after I said that, which is so dumb now that I think about it. But I've already said it, we can't go back on it, we gotta use it. At least the crash that was going on in the background really was a good example of just how stupid the AI can be. And here's another example, what are they doing here? I don't know. There's just a pile of like 10 cars there. Unfortunately, I couldn't plow directly through them because two of them were T-Series and I know I got a big strong T-Series, but even then, plowing through two normal T-Series, not very easy to do. Here's a fun idea. I'm gonna pick a lane and I'm gonna stay in it. And if they crash into me, it's their own fault. So this is my lane and we're gonna see what they do. Although this actually won't work for very long because eventually they only have one lane to choose from if they were to stay in the correct side of the road. So we'll try that again later on. Probably when we go on the highway, that'd be a good place for it because you can go four wide in one single direction. And ooh, that was kind of an interesting way to go around that corner. I thought I might crash for a second. Oh, you know it's gonna be good, I bet? The AI has to drive through this. What are they gonna do? they're actually going to make it through surprisingly well. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, no. I did not make it through much at all, but I think the ram plow is actually wider than the road. So there's no way to drive through there with the ram plow version of the T-Series. So let's go ahead and finish up this video with the test I mentioned earlier, where I want to sit in one single lane of the road, and I want to see if the AI actually avoids me. It makes sense because the AI is set to flee. That means if I'm driving in a straight line in a very predictable manner, there's no reason for them to crash into me. If I had to guess though, we will crash into them eventually. Maybe not now when we're going only 50 miles per hour, but we'll get close to 100 miles per hour and when we're going that fast, I don't think the AI will have enough time to react. Like that T-Series is kind of in my lane, but just barely at the last second out of the way. What? That Covet, I literally just took his hubcap off. He is so lucky. Oh, there's no way they're all gonna live. We're gonna hit somebody eventually. It's actually a miracle so far how little damage we've done. We're just clipping him with the very most outer edge of the T-Series so far every now and then. And we're going almost 100 miles per hour, so they're doing a good job still. And before somebody tries to swerve in front of me and there's a big impact like these T-Series, there's no way you're gonna make it, you idiots. And that shows. Even me going 100 miles per hour into a normal T-Series, it slows you down a lot. There really was no way I could have gone through two of them. And here we go, everybody's just being really dumb now. I'm still staying in my lane, but the road is curved a little bit, and I think that makes the AI quite a bit dumber. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, this has been YBR, and remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how unbelievably stupid the AI is. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time.